Oh, well, good morning. I guess I fell asleep in my glasses and my hat again. Today's the pick day. I am finally sending back my MacBook Pro. I complained about it lightly uh, in my last vlog where I was having so many issues for the last year and a half. Well, according to the senior support staff on the old phone line, I've had such a rough problem and had such an unlucky experience, I'm entitled to a full refund. Wow. Uh, it feels like th that makes sense. Consumer law in the UK is really, really great. Even though it's been like a year and a half, because it's been such a bad experience, I can get a full refund, just replace it with something new, but I know there's like better ones coming out. There's always better ones coming out, but more professional ones probably at the end of the year. So I'm going to get like the cheapest MacBook possible and then try and... It'll probably be better because of the new chip than the one I have, but either way, we're going to the Apple store. I think I'm going to go shopping for uh, a new pair of shoes and some other things. So without further ado, let's make some breakfast. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I made biscuits for biscuits and gravy. No, you did. Yes, I did. At midnight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I freaking prepared, okay? I started last night at like midnight. I wanted to like prep some dough so I could have some biscuits and gravy this morning. So let's go. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. All right, we've got uh, the knife. So last night, as I said, I made some uh, nice biscuity dough. Hopefully it's flaky and layered. Gonna be making biscuits and gravy, which is one of my favorite southern dishes from the US. Hopefully this right here will turn into a nice flaky biscuit. Can you see the layers? Look at this. All right, I want you to see these uh, beautiful layers, okay? Hopefully, hopefully he expands when I put him on the parchment paper. So I've just brushed them down with a little bit of butter, but I don't have a brush, so I just use a spoon. Gonna put some kosher salt on the top. And I think they're gonna be put in the oven for like 15 minutes while I make the gravy. Also for British people that are in horror, no, the, these are kind of like more close to scones, I guess you could say, not really uh, a biscuits as you would say, so. Here we go. So basically all I've done so far is broken up. Uh, I took some sausages out of the casing and then Broke them up, beat them around, put some butter in, covered it in flour, and now I'm um, adding a little bit of milk to it. I'm trying to make this gravy really nice. And I think we gotta have a lot of salt and pepper as well. Look at that. Not so shabs, eh? That's pretty nice looking gravy. Let's see what we got. Oh, let's pull them out. Nice. Looking real good. And hey, we got the gravy. We got nice, nice bit of a uh, layery flakes there. Flaky layers. Oh my god. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's really nice. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> <laughs> really tasty. Um, if you want to know the recipe, by the way, I used the Joshua Weissman recipe for the flaky biscuits, and then I used the Babish recipe for the gravy. I'll link them in the description. Very good. Mm. Lincoln, mm. Lincolnshire sausages as well. And Lincolnshire sausages, you're British. <laughs> link in the description and Lincolnshire sausages. All right, I feel extra out of energy at this point. Messy room, messy room. Time to say goodbye to this guy. You're dead. Well, just another one of those days where I can't, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. too tall for things. Can't find anything, lost my wallet. Found the wallet after a little bit of looking. It's just, I feel like I always do things where I put something somewhere and go, huh, you're gonna forget this. And that's what I do. I am really excited for the, what they call air tags things, just because, uh, like I said, this happens to me all the time. I hate it. I'm already late for my appointment at the Genius Bar. Very strange, but the sky hasn't rendered yet. It's, is it a zero cloud sky? A cloudless sky? Oh, there's one. Oh wait, that's not even a cloud. Let's just square. You're pretty. Pretty dumb. <laughs> just had had my talk with the Apple guy about all the problems. <laughs> had to install a root user. Had to wipe the computer. Fresh install. Still having the issues. Hardware problems, not software problems. I always love this staircase. Like, it's designed by an incredibly famous, I believe, Czech artist. Or at least it was ripped off from her, actually, now that I think about it. All right, so at this point, um, I've explained my issue emphatically. Such such a bad time. Uh, I think if ever you want to make sure you get the result you want from these types of things, you just have to be really honest and detailed. And if you know what you're talking about with computers, 
talk about everything you've done. Like, because a lot of people just, I assume, they will assume uh, that you don't really know much about it. So as long as you talk over everything you've done diagnostically, should be a sure win. Sure enough, just gotta be confident and uh, make your demands. They were like, we can fix it. I went, absolutely not. You're not fixing it again. Really lovely, obviously. Everyone's just liaisons in a way. Uh, but all I have to do is basically show my receipt. I brought the power brick. Jobs are done in 3K, back in my wallet, wow. Went off without a hitch, got myself an M1 MacBook Pro, at least until the actual professional ones come out in the fall. You wanna do your little flip, flip trick? <laughs> okay, okay, you ready? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> wow, you did it, beautiful. <laughs> I did it, <laughs> Wow. Covent Garden Market, looking beautiful, beautiful. I'm so incredibly happy that I got my full refund and I got Another MacBook. Just, what a win, what a win. Gonna get a frappuccino. Pro London tip, go in a phone booth if you wanna smell like piss. By the way, fun fact, I know I put on boots earlier today and you've probably seen these a couple times. They didn't fit the outfit, so I just switched them up. Who's that girl from Made in Chelsea that was behind me in that shot? <laughs> I forgot her name. Dreadful. <laughs> Okay, so I only I can mainly recognize her because of the way she speaks, and I remember because she's so posh. She is, yeah. She I just uh, I just heard a bit of her conversation. She said like, "You made the decision to go work in Belgium. I didn't make that decision, and I've been fine here." So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> All right, uh, fun fact. So there's this place in Covent Garden that I think you guys should know about. I've never actually been inside, but it always looks cool. It's one of those vintage places where you can buy clothes, but just based on the weight. Like they're just like you know what, just put it in a bag and take it. It's called pick and wait. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't. Oh my God, imagine you in this. That'd be amazing, please. No, absolutely <laughs> not. I want the and then there's this, the Chuck Taylor section. I'm literally going to get a pair of Chuck 70s. But wow, I wonder how cheap <gasps> these are. Hold up. This used pair is actually 35 pounds. I thought it would be cheaper, I'm gonna be honest. Bliss has somehow never had an Arizona iced tea, and Urban Outfitters has all of them. Obviously, the OG, the best What's one. What standard flavor? Tea flavor. Like green tea. Okay. It's like American iced tea, but it's in this giant can. You get it for like 99 cents. Obviously, my friends are here. Hell yes, we got the new Tame of Hollow album. 100% would recommend. We got Billie Eilish. Oh, get a nice record. Oh, Neil's Yard is still one of my favorite parts of London of all time. Would recommend if you ever are a tourist here, go. It, it, it's just really pretty. There's a home slice, one of my favorite pizza places right over there. Giant pizzas. And look at this nice outdoor seating. Lovely. All right, Bliss, what are your thoughts on the, uh, the can there? It's like a palate cleanser. It's a palate it's cleanser. It's very clean. It's usually like a dollar in the U.S., but here it's three pound fitty. It's also an American company. I don't know if you knew. <laughs> Wait, does it say? <laughs> oh. Well, look at that. It, American company. So I'm trying to get uh, a nice long shot of the really pretty colorful windows we got here. I think we got a little overexposure, but that's nice. I feel like, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, right there. I feel like this, this type of shot would do a lot better low. You really follow me, right? <laughs> oh man, back in the day when the YouTube space used to be here at Totten Court Road, we'd always end up uh, ending the day at the uh, Byron Burger right next door. A lot of good memories here. That's hair. I like your hair. We're hearing Jesus stuff over here. This is a London travel vlog, everybody. Cornflake, the art of technology. <laughs> There's a puppy in the store. Oh my God, oh my God, he's so cute. Hi. Every store. Oh my gosh, she's the cutest little pup. <sighs> Say goodbye to your friends. <laughs> oh. Bye, buddy. <laughs> so I'm, going, I'm trying to get some new shoes. Uh, I figured parchment off-white colored Chuck 70s. I just want to try to look like I know what I'm doing, but I feel like I've never known what I'm doing with outfits and things. Like I said, I've never worn high tops. I've always been scared of them. Low tops are the way. But, oh, I love this song. No, I don't. Yeah. I like the Red Hot Chili Peppers song, I thought it was. That's not bad. I love how this place looks like it's out of Harry Potter or something, you know? Love the design. So Bliss and I have uh, taken a little pit stop for a picnic in uh, St. Anne's Churchyard. I've never actually been in this park. It's very lovely. We've got apples, mini cheddars, some, uh, what is this, we made a tuna pasta bake from yesterday. Really nice. Also, Bliss, did you realize that this park won the Green Flag Award? I see a sign over there. I swear to God, I don't know if you guys live in London, you've seen this, every park 
has a green flag award. I feel like it's just an agency that goes like, let's just give this award to every park so they think it's nice and they put up a sign to be like, we won the award. Nobody cares about it. What does the award mean? Everyone wins the award. This is a nice park, but every park I've been into isn't nice enough to win this award, you know? Trouble in paradise, there's a pigeon up there who cannot balance and he is dropping nuts on our face. <laughs> he got that right. I am concerned if he poops on me, I am not going to be happy. Look at him. He's he's ready to poop. Bliss and I have been on the hunt for what feels like days for a bathroom. I just need to pee so bad. But you know, COVID, right? How, where are you going to find somewhere that's going to let you in to pee? I don't know. Who built this city? We're on uh, Regent Street. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Architecture. Just wow. Such nice lighting. I just love this lighting so much. Oh God, it looks so perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much for taking this lovely photo. How do you feel using this uh, 7200 lens? Very powerful. <laughs> He's so heavy. It's like, imagine, I don't know, I was gonna use an example of holding a shotgun, but I don't think many people have held a shotgun. But it's like, because it's so heavy at the at the, the far end, it, you really have to like pulse the bicep. Like me holding this camera right now, it's quite a lot of effort. I uh, just found this really nice side street. I think this is Air Street on the side of uh, Regents. Really beautiful. Nice flowers, nice day for photography. Also, wow, just doing a little building. You're lifting up, I wanna be in there. I wanna be in that cave. All right, so I don't know if you guys have seen this, but Uniqlo has this really cool system now. Self-checkout, right? I'm not a member. All right, so all you do is put the item, just drop it in there, and it just knows, okay? Look at that. It knows it's colorful 50 socks. Like what? All right, let's just go for the next one. Amazing. I'm getting some socks, obviously, as you can How tell. Does it do it? How does it know? I, I genuinely don't know. That's great. It's like, it's very special. It's magical. It's magical, very magical. I'm checking out the Lululemon flagship. I just want to see what's going on in there, you know? All right, I'm getting a, I think, a green over shirt. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's very light and stretchy and yes. All right, fun day of shopping. Got my MacBook fixed or rather replaced, which is nice. Excited for the uh, setup of the M1 tonight. Hopefully Twitch stream will be good. Uh, in the meantime, a bit hungry. Oh, those are cool. Maddie Hapoya. Uh, I'm about to get some Nando's with Bliss. Get a nice little meal. We're talking about getting a pineapple one, right? Yeah, they've got pineapple. If you've never had the Nando's like pita burger with the pineapple, mwah, it's a good choice. 10 out of 10. Let's go. So as you can see, these are the only outdoor seats we have at Nando's. Just two spots. Bliss, what are you going to get? What's your order? I can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> you what? You can't decide. No. <laughs> I think I'm going to try this new thing. It's called the Sunset Burger. Oh boy. Well, it is a uh, freezing cold. It, the weather said it was supposed to be 2 to 16 today. It was 16 earlier. Now it's 2. Freezing cold waiting in this line. There's only two places available in this Nando's to sit outside. So we've been waiting, getting cold. I put on everything that I just bought just because I'm so cold trying to stay warm. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh gosh, I'm so hungry. Oh boy, that looks amazing. Oh, beautiful street. It's crazy what it looked like earlier, but oh wow. Oh, wait. That's fancy. It is cold. Piccadilly Circus, let's get on out of here. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? Bad. Let's go this way. Find a different place. It's just so, 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 so cold right now. So freaking cold. So freaking cold. It went from like, oh man, nice summery spring day to Jesus Christ, I'm so cold. Just standing. Standing with my bag. Just standing with my bee. And beep. Oh boy. Oh my. That was, that was a good day. It was a nice long one. It's my first time into like central London since pre-lockdown. There's so much like pre, post, lockdown, all this fun jazz. Boy, boy oh boy. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice one. Thank you very much Future Evan for checking up on me, seeing what's up. Things are going okay, hopefully for you as well. Uh, I'm gonna edit this up, set up my new computer because that's gonna take ages to like try and restore things and Basically, I didn't have as big of a hard drive in this new one, so it's gonna be gonna be hard choosing what I'm picking on an external and stuff. But uh, I thank you for staying in touch. I said it right this time. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next one. Vlogging it up. Yeah. <laughs>